friends and welcome back to our book club scope where we're talking about the book Just Show Up by Kara Tippett. Um, Kara passed away from cancer earlier this year and if you have a friend who is walking through a really hard season, something very difficult and heavy, um, I believe that this book would be very encouraging to you to give you some ideas on the best ways to walk through suffering with others. For those of you who are new, my name is Crystal Payne and I'm the founder of MoneySavingMom.com and we have been going through Just Show Up quite slowly because there's so much in this book that I want to share, but it's Just Show Up by Kara Tippett. As I said earlier, Kara passed away from cancer um, earlier this year and um, this book was written by Kara and her friend Jill. They co-authored it together um, before she passed away. And um, chapter three is on the gift of silence and there's so much good stuff in this chapter um earlier um i think it was last week i shared some of this um maybe it's earlier this week i can't even remember but if you go to catch.me forward slash money saving mom there are all my scopes on this book and um i talked about um earlier about what do you say in these hard situations what do you what what are some good words to share um that won't be hurtful and painful um, but this, I wanted to read a little bit more from this chapter because I just thought that it was, it was so, so good and something that we need to remember. Um, she says, let's give our people the room for this to be their story. We may have similarities in our stories, but this trial is unique to them. Saying something like, I know how you feel, or I've been through something similar makes it about us. Saying, I'm so sorry, I can't imagine how hard this is for you, keeps the focus on them. We don't have to fill the silence which a, with a bunch of words or tell the story of another friend who's going through a different trial. I've done this. I'm totally wincing now. We don't have to barge in and ask hard questions in our attempt to say something. Curiosity is different from caring. Curiosity is different from caring. I mean, really think about that. Um, Jill, Kara's friend, was talking about things that have been said to, to Kara or to Jason. So when is your wife going to die? Is she close to the end? Is she going to die soon? Those are questions that aren't encouraging. They're just curious questions that aren't showing compassion. Curiosity wants to know what's going on. Caring wants the person to know they're not forgotten. Details aren't important. Then she goes on to say, when you're struggling for what to say, bite your tongue if you are tempted to suggest a miracle cure or offer phrases like that, quote, make everything all right. There are usually no explanations for the suffering that's happening to others. We live in a world where things don't make sense. There's hurt and hardship that we can't fix. So don't try to fix it with your words. Most of the time, our loved ones are not asking for solutions to their troubles. Often, they just want someone to listen or to pray. Before giving advice or offering a cure, we should first consider whether the person asked for it. I think we want to be fixers. We want to fix things for people. We want to try to make things all better. But realizing that a lot of the time, people, there, there aren't, there's not a quick fix. And so don't. Don't try to give solutions if they haven't been asked for. If you hear that someone's sick, if you hear that someone has cancer, if you hear that someone's going through a hard time, don't give them solutions or fixes unless they've asked for it. Just be there for them. Be caring, show up, show them that you love them and they're not forgotten. That is one of the best ways that you can walk through suffering with someone. So that's what I wanna share with you today and we'll continue on with more tomorrow. I hope you have a great day.